if Wendy Williams' son Kevin Jr. didn't bring his ailing mother back to New York City from Florida, he was threatened with arrest. Kevin Hunter Jr., Wendy Williams' son, exclusively disclosed to the U.S. son that he was threatened with arrest if he didn't bring his ailing mother back to New York City from Florida. Wendy's only child, 22, said that Judge Lisa Sokoloff, who is presiding over the controversial host's guardianship issue, threatened to file abduction charges against him if he didn't help get the star back to New York in 2022 while he was caring for her. Exclusively provided by Kevin to the U.S., son, the judge threatened me with arrest and said I'd be held in contempt if I didn't bring her back to New York. When she was eventually returned to New York, Kevin claimed he was also threatened with arrest if he attempted to take her back to Florida. Kevin added, referring to the court's decision in May 2022 to designate Sabrina Morrissey as Wendy's permanent guardian. I'm so scared that I haven't really been up there to see her since the courts, Kevin said. The legal bodies in charge of Wendy, his 58-year-old mother, try to change things up when they hear I'm coming to visit, like they have to prepare for me, said Wendy's son. Kevin expressed his desire to do more to help his mother get the care she requires and to encourage her to put her health ahead of the work commitments she has made over the previous year. If there was a way that I could help that wouldn't end up being arrested, I would be doing that, he stated. In response to a request for comment from the U.S., son, a spokesperson of Judge Sokoloff and the New York court stated, as this is a pending matter it would not be appropriate to comment further. The U.S. son published Wendy's son's first interview, which was made public earlier this week. Kevin attacked his mother's inner circle and her legal guardians, saying they were abusing her popularity, fortune, and inability to make wise judgments due to her chronic alcoholism. Will Selby, Wendy's manager, responded to Kevin's interview condemning him in a statement to Entertainment Tonight. If your mother was near death would the first thing you do is call an online publication, said he. Okay, I'll stop there since that's all I have to say. I'm not here to be combative about whatever allegations he has, the manager stated. He has a right to his views. I'm just trying to get the message through that as adults, let's take responsibility and use common sense. Someone like your mother was on the verge of death. Why would you visit a website to talk with them about it? After spending a month in the hospital, Wendy has recently been transferred to what her team refers to as a wellness facility. According to a Wendy insider, Will would have been aware of Kevin's arrest threats made by the guardianship judge due to his relationship with his mother. In response to Wells Fargo freezing Wendy's bank accounts because they believed the celebrity was the victim of financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence, court documents originally made public by the U.S. Sun indicate that Wendy was put under guardianship. Kevin said, What's been allowed to happen has been incredibly awful, and ever since the court proceedings concluded, something just has to be brought to light about what's happening and how much people are taking in this circumstance. People have neglected to prioritize her genuine healing and improvement while she has been there, and regrettably, unlike many other alcoholics, she is significantly more valuable. I know that Sabrina has a relationship with the jeweler, but I would assume that they get along well, Wendy's son continued. This was produced in this manner.